I only attack the people that's coming for me. I said, yo, I fired security eight months ago. If I walk out of here and a nigga come from behind me out the staircase, hang, 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 hang. 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 I don't know what kind of gun that is. No. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. We're back at it again. My boys missed this movie because they're scared. They're scared of a strong, independent woman. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe. But they're not here to defend themselves, and I already said it, so let's go with it. Anyway, Hollywood has been releasing a ton of movies these past few weeks. Some have been awesome, some have been bad. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. And some. I've been meh. The Protégé is the latest action release starring Maggie Q, Sam Jackson, and Michael Keaton. Which category does this fall under? Well, let's find out. Let's get into the review. These are the best circumstances you'll ever see me in. Protégé is about Anna, played by Maggie Q, a skilled assassin raised and trained by her mentor, Moody. One day, that teacher slash father figure gets murdered and sent to that great convenience store in the sky that all dads seem to not come back from. What follows is two intense hours of brawls, shootouts, and espionage. I love this movie. This is like John Wick mixed with Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Maggie Q could really handle herself with anybody that's on the screen, like verbally, physically, like she like she takes it with the best of them, especially with Michael Keaton. Her chemistry with Michael Keaton, it's off the charts. Like every time they're on screen, and you know that they have to kill each other because they're both assassins and you know she's trying to get revenge and he's trying to protect his client. They have this on and off chemistry where it's like they, they want to smash but they also want to kill each other and you're just, you're just hoping that they do the latter. Wait, no, the former? Yeah, the former, there you go, I, I went to school. And you're hoping they smash rather than kill each other because they're just so good when they get together on screen. Like anytime they're on screen together, you're just, your eyes are glued. And even when they're not, Michael Keaton carries his own. Like he's like charming, he's like suave, and he could smash somebody's face in like pretty well. Like, you know, he's, Batman didn't forget his training. Um, Maggie Q, you know, she goes through a lot in this movie, like, she goes through the ringer. Like, emotionally and physically, like, she, she just acts her ass off in this. And on top of that, she's taking on these baddies in very clever ways, like, the action in this is super clever, it's not just like, oh, shoot, 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 like... Hang, 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 hang. It was already supposed to happen! When well, I listen, came nigga, in... I don't know what kind of gun that is. No. <laughs> Yo, yo, it's the, the action in this movie really got me. It really had me jumping out my seat and going, oh, damn, oh, ooh, ah, e. Like, like, I did all the vowels and things in the alphabet. Like, this movie really had some impactful action, and I love it for that. Is there any bad in this movie? I don't know. I don't think there's really anything that sticks out as being bad. I think the, the, the start is a little bit slow because it has to set up the whole world and everything in this movie. But once everything is set up, the movie just it's it's running it's going it's it's going and you're a part of it you want to be a part of this ride the protege messes with your expectations of what an action movie is supposed to be and it's like okay when you think this is going to happen they go right when you think they're going to go right they go left like you don't know what's going to happen until the like the credits finally roll and it's like there you go and i like that like it kept me on my toes it kept me wondering like as a person that sees a thousand of these movies every year i was like i honestly don't know what, what's going to happen and i'm happy about that is this worth seeing in the theater? Yeah, I, I think it's one of the best action movies this year, like flat out action movies. Like this is what you want to go take your girl on a date to. This is what you want to go with your friends to go see. Anyway, overall, this is definitely one of my favorite movies this year. I'm going to give this a five out of five. I, I was teetering between a four and a five, but I'm going to give it a five out of five. Like I think this is an action movie done very well. Like it, is, it does what it's supposed to do. I have nothing to, to complain about here. Like, share and subscribe. Tell me what's your favorite action movie in the comments. Let us know and later days.